Wait, is there a dab that I don't know about for course three? I don't think there's a dab. We can make a dab. We can totally make a dab. Like a... <laughs> Wait, like this? We can so do it, this. We'd be like, is that what we're doing? We can do it. Welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm here today with Professor Jeff Grossman. It's really great to be here. So thank you for inviting me to come and chat with you. I love the Course 3 dab as a thing that we use. Course 3 shirts, yeah. matching. Course 3 shirts, Course 3. Um, course 3. Course 3 mugs. Course 3 mugs. Let's, should we do a little Course 3 yeah. sip? Let's, okay, thank you. Mm. So I'll start off with something that I know is very dear to you. How did you meet your wife? <laughs> that that was not the question I was expecting, but I love it. I am a big fan of high school reunions. And the reason is that I was not gonna go to my 10 year reunion, but at the last minute I changed my mind and I went. And it turns out my wife was not gonna go to our 10 year reunion, but she happened to be traveling across the country um, and was stopping in Chicago. I was living in Berkeley, California. She was moving out to the Bay Area for a job. So there we were at the 10 year reunion in Evanston, Illinois. And I'm like, you know, looking at her name tag and I'm like, oh yeah, I think I maybe sort of remember you, <laughs> you know? And I was like, well here, since you're moving out to the Bay Area, let me give you my number and give me a call and, you know, show you around, we'll get married, have some kids. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> this next part of the questions are the rapid fire questions. Mm. They're a little bit more fun. Wait, who's rap So does that mean I have to be rapid or you're gonna, we're both gonna be rapid here? That's a good question. All right. I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm rapid maybe? Both of us are rapid? Let's do it, I'm ready. Okay. Course three. <laughs> <laughs> How do you exercise? How do I exercise? I'm so glad you asked. I am the biggest fan of Sean T. Okay. Um, I, I cannot tell you, like I, like one of my dreams in life would be to meet Sean T. His max 30 routines are so amazing and they're so efficient. You know, like you just, you get your heart rate up quickly, you get your core and you just feel great. What is your favorite food? If you put anything uh, and do a decent job into a pasta dish, I'm a big fan. I lived in Italy for a year, so Ooh. I think that's where um, I learned to make pasta by hand and I learned to make pizza. I really, I feel like we've lost touch with with the food and so I love like touching the food so I love cooking there's like something to it you know like that that is almost hard to describe what would your perfect party look like in my parties if if every single person isn't on the dance floor at some point and I mean for more you know not just kind of like doing this but I mean like really getting down okay it's not a good party so I need like total commitment to the dance floor and you know then you go back and do your keg stands or whatever you guys do these days I don't know what I just said. I didn't say that. <laughs> Don't describe that. <laughs> That's not for underage people. So, just so be, to be clear, I not I don't approve of that. But if you don't spend some time on the dance floor, it's not it's not okay. If you could pass on any piece of wisdom to current students, mm -hmm. what would it be? One of the things that I would say is like, why are why are you here at MIT? It's not actually as simple as it as you, as you might think, and because and the reason is that. This is a very unique place. This isn't about like, just come here, you know, be be privileged that you're here and get, a, get this incredible stamp on a certificate in four years. Students come here because they genuinely and passionately want to use knowledge to change the world for the better. I tell students, this is not a place of privilege. This is a place of responsibility. And, and you wanna think about how you're gonna fit into that and how we can help you in your time here get the most out of that. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tea with Teachers. If you like what you saw, subscribe and watch more videos here. Follow us on social media here. If you have suggestions for questions or professors, let us know down in the comments below. Have a great week.